It is week eight of the BBR, and due to a lot of the games, or almost all of them in fact, having already been played, it is now mathematically impossible for us to be knocked out of playoffs. Even if we have the absolute worst score possible today, and the other remaining game has the absolute best score possible, the worst we could finish is in seventh. Right now we are in sixth, and we could actually move up into fifth. Fifth place happens to be our opponent today, Oboe and the Morpeko United. So if we get a 3-0 victory, I believe it is, we jump up into fifth place, which I would like to do. With that said, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so. End of the year goal for me is gonna be 2,000 subscribers this year. I think I can pull it off. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep growing this channel and you guys have been a huge help thus far. So continue to do so if you can. Thank you so much for everything. Leave a like on the video. Go and check out all the other coaches in the description down below as well. Once you're done with this video, especially the ones that are making playoffs because they still have uploads coming after this week. And go and check out our opponent's side of the battle as well. Oboe's link is in the description as well. And let's get into our final game of the regular season for the BBR right now. All right, so Obo did not bring the Cryogonal, did not bring the Mischievous. We do see the Grimmsnarl, no Snorlax, so Grimmsnarl is going to be the check to our Spectrier, obviously. Gonna try to burn that early. Hadrapple's not here, Bellybolt is, Iron Moth is, Jirachi is not, Gren and Tusk are. I think my lead is still, yeah, it's probably still Mean Shao here. There's no Ghost, so we can spin freely. And let's just update our layout here. Okay, cool. So that's that, let's get into it. All right, Obo just informed me that he is a fanboy. Oh, this is Owen number two, okay. All right, Owen, let's go. Let's see what you got. I'm gonna try to get a 3-0 win here. This is a Greninja lead. This could not be better for me. We are just going to go for the fake out, I believe. I'm gonna look at the rest of his team real quick. Obviously, Bellabolt can come in. So maybe hitting that as like little as possible is probably better because of static. Uh, but I think fake out is just the, the correct play. Uh, obviously, I could be Scarfed, so I don't see a real reason for the Greninja to stay in here. Uh, we're going to scout Tusk's item through Fake Out if that's what comes in. All right, so out goes the Greninja. B. Fernandez. Who's this? This is the Tusk. How much is it going to take here? Gets Booster. What is a boost? Attack. Okay, cool. So we're going to Fake Out. That is going to do 8%. I want to see what kind of tusk that is. Okay, so I can't actually do 8% to max HP. Which means this thing has, like, no bulk whatsoever. That said, Triple Axel still does not knock this thing out. So I'm just going to go for U-turn. Get off as much damage as I can. Before bringing in Yuxi, which is helmet. And quite defensive as well. So we're going to see the damage from tusk onto Yuxi here. Assuming he goes for a move that hits me uh, at all, right? Because he could go for a ground move. So there's the U-turn. We get in Unforgettable. And we are going to see a Mega Horn here. Very nice play. That is going to make contact, however. So Rocky Helmet. And I could switch uh, on the follow-up Mega Horn. Now we could see a close combat here. Yuxi is not that useful because I was using it to check the Snorlax, but the Snorlax is not here. Now, do you carry knockoff on this set is the question. Because I could bring in Spectrier hard here. This thing is attack boosting, but it could still be max speed, which is kind of what I'm assuming it is. We have no speed, uh, but he does need to hit us again. So I think I'm just going to go for the Psychic Noise here. Yeah, and let Yuxi go down. I think that's fine. There is the Mega Horn again. Connects. And down goes Yuxi. That's fine. Gonna see more Rocky Helmet chip. So now this thing took a fake out, a U-turn, and two rounds of helmet. And it is sitting at... We don't know yet. Okay, now, no bulk. Do you die to Cinderace? 63 min. With two helmet hits, that's 34 plus the eight. That's 42. Yeah, it should die to Cinderace. That's kind of what I want to go into here. Because the Bellabolt is still untarred, and nothing else really comes in on Pyro Ball. And I think it is the play I'm going to make. I'm going to pile on as much offensive pressure as I can. So yeah, we're going to go Ace. And it's sitting at 52. So yeah, it should always die here. Let's just hope we connect. Low kick is not the play. We just go for Pyro Ball here. And nothing really wants to come in. The Bella Bolt is, of course, Terra, as you guys can see on your screen. It has a different color on the layout. So it can Terra into a Fairy or a Water type. However, I don't think it can come in hard on Pyro Ball here. 
because it might still die to Pyro Ball into Pyro Ball, even if it's water. But we'll see. Megahorn's a good bring. Uh, obviously covered the Uxi, covered like Colburn stuff. So Pyro Ball is going to knock out the Tusk. Fantastic. That's one Mon down. Beautiful. And what are we going to see come in here? Maybe the Greninja. Maybe the Bellabolt. That would kind of make sense. Go for a water move, maybe. Tear water and go for the water move. Without Uxi, it's a little bit harder to switch into Belly Bolt, for sure. But without Tusk around, uh, we don't have to worry about a huge physical presence on my opponent's team. Pretty much everything else is special. Cleavor is physical, obviously, but it's quite well checked by Treads. And Grimmsnarl might just be support for all we know. So... Right now, it's looking like a mostly specially attacking team. Obviously, the Gren can also be physical, but I just, I kind of doubt that it is, is what I'm uh, trying to say here. So, Moth, what is Moth checked by on my team? Like, Scrafty, I guess. Okay, in comes Gren. We're going to switch right out to Mean Shao, and we are going to scout what this thing is. So, Greninja, Battle Bond, let's say Life Orb. Hydro Pump does a max of 62 to me. And uh, he also has to hit pumps. And that's assuming he's Life Orb. If he's not Life Orb, I don't believe he too hit KOs me. Uh, yeah. It does 47 max. So. Gonna be a switch into Mean Shao. Surf also shouldn't two hit KO me unless he's Life Orb. Or Specs, obviously. Swords Dance, okay. Protean turns into a normal type. Interesting. Okay. So now he can dodge Shadow Balls. Very nice prep. I like this. All right. So we're going to fake out. And we're going to see how much damage that does to the Greninja. And we do have Speed Boosting Tusk. Now, of course, this could just be Battle Bond. Uh, and no, it's Protean. We saw Protean. So Speed Boosting uh, Treads. Excuse me. I said Tusk, but I meant Treads. Uh, is pretty good here. So now the question is, do I want to sack my Mean Shell? It doesn't look that good here, if I'm being honest. Uh, this is a normal type now. I can revenge this with Cinderace. I can't revenge it with uh, Spectrier because it is a normal type now. But I can revenge it with Treads, I think. Let me see. Treads, Steel Beam, if you became a normal type. 71. And how much did my Mean Shell do to this? So... I don't think I knock it out with treads. That being said, I think I still have to U-turn here. I do have a little bit of bulk on me. We don't know his item yet. Uh, if it is Life Orb, he is going to be chipping himself, though. So we're going to go for U-turn. Here's Liquidation. Does this knock me out? It does. Okay. So is it Life Orb is the question. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So... With that, uh, that should be Treads range. 71 plus the fake out. Yeah, just about, I think. Just about. So, yeah, I think we do go Treads and we just do go for the st Steel Beam here. Get our booster, hopefully spe uh, Steel Beam KOs. And then we'll go from there. If it doesn't, uh, we still have our Scrafty, and Life Orb is going to be killing the Greninja as well. So we're just going to go for Steel Beam here. Hopefully it hits, because if it doesn't, that's really bad. He's actually going to withdraw. Okay, so he's going to keep this for later. Interesting. And in comes Garnacho. This is the... Uh, not the Mon I expected to see. It's the Cleavor. And it's just going to die straight up <laughs> to Steel Beam. Now we're going to see if the uh, Iron Moth is uh, speed boosting. Could very well be. And I don't know what I'd do to that, actually. I could go hard ace, obviously, and then just sucker punch it. Martinez, who's this? This is the Moth. This is the Belly Bolt. Interesting. So we're probably going to see a Terra Water here. Uh, I think I go for Stealth Rocks here, right? Is that my play? What do I have left alive? I can set up on this with Scrafty. So yeah, I think I do just rocks here. Okay, we'll go for rocks. We are going to see the Terra. This should be Terra Water. By all accounts. 
because it checks ace as well. Yep. And we're going to see a water move here, obviously. So here's the rocks. I'm going to see, like, muddy water or something. Maybe scald. There's muddy water. Cool. So that's going to be a dead treads. So we're just trading blow for blow right now. Belly bolt's at full. And I'm just going to go into Scrafty. We are not going to Terra and we're going to bulk up. And if he hits me with a special move, my spadef goes up. So let's go for bulk up. The Grimmsnarl cannot encore me if I'm if I stay dark. So he has to like predict me to Terra and then go for encore. So this is perfectly fine. Also, Spectre is looking really good. Uh, I just need damage on the Grim Snarl because the Greninja is like sitting at 60. So plus one Shadow Ball does a lot. So here's Bulk Up. We are faster than the Belly Bolt. Fantastic. What are we going to see here? This is going to be a Volt Switch. It's going to be a Thunderbolt. Okay. So we're going to eat that. We're going to get our Moranga Berry popped. Great. So this is very offensive, right? For it to do that much. I went down from 319 to 192. How much is that? 8 plus uh, 119, 127. I took 127 from a Belly Bolt Thunderbolt. Let's see. Belly Bolt into my Scrafty with uh, Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Um, is not supposed to do that much. So this thing is very offensive. Yeah. It's literally like max modest, I think, to do that. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so uh, with that said, I think we're just going to bulk up again. Yeah, just bulk up again because we're faster. Pretty sure now his T-bolts are not going to do enough. Here's the Thunderbolt. Yeah, we're sitting at 104. And essentially, I don't want to hit this thing because I don't know its ability. If it ends up being Electromorphosis, then uh, we're kind of screwed. So, I'm just going to rest here. Like, I don't really need to hit this right now, is the thing. So, I'm good to just rest here. We'll see what my opponent tries to do. It's probably just going to be another T-Bolt, if I had to guess. And we're going to take, like, 80 damage from that. Let's see. Yeah, about that. There's Shed Skin, so we wake up. Fantastic. And now... Now I think I crunch into Drain Punch, because I'm plus two. Let me see. If this thing has, like, no bulk except for its HP, Crunch does 40 to 47, then Drain Punch does 37 to 44. Huh. Not enough, huh? Okay, we could bulk again, uh, but I think I am just going to go for crunch. I'd like to see the ability as well. So here we go. Crunch time. Okay. So it is Electromorphosis. All right. So he's going to get off a stronger T-Bolt here. It's still not going to kill me. And we're just going to go for the rest, I believe. Now that we have the Bella Bolt lower, it's much better. So he's just going to stay in. That used up the charge, by the way, so we don't have to worry. Slack off, that's fine. We're essentially PP stalling this thing. So now we bulk. So I'm fast asleep, that's fine. We could wake up this turn with Shed Skin. We'll see. Here's the T-Bolt. Doesn't do that much. There's the Shed Skin. And now we bulk up, because we know we need another one now. So bulk up number three. Battle of the Terramons here, except I haven't Terrid yet. So here comes the T-Bolt. Now I cannot attack this thing or its T-Bolt will knock me out. So I actually think I have to bulk up again. Uh, yeah. So we bulk again. We get to plus four, plus four. And then we rest. And then we crunch into Drain Punch. And that should do it. Assuming no crit, we're fine. Good. No para either. So now we rest so that a crit won't kill me. And we could get the immediate Shed Skin proc, which is obviously best case scenario. Still not switching is Oboe. 
He could be taking advantage of the turns that I rest, but he's not doing it, just like D-Ray didn't. So here's the T-Bolt. Doesn't do enough. Uh, so we're just going to go for bulk up here. And then it comes down to how do I want to play it into Moth. So we're fast asleep. Here comes the T-Bolt. Awesome. And we just bulk up again, right? It doesn't matter. Again, we don't wake up here. And then we'll wake up the next turn and rest. So we're burning some T-Bolt PP. I'm hoping not to get crit at any point because that would suck. So here's the rest. Do we get the... We need the Shed Skin proc. That's all we need, essentially. And then we can go for Drain Punch into Drain Punch. And we're good. There's the T-Bolt. Still no crit. There's the Shed Skin. Fantastic. So now we go for Drain Punch into Drain Punch. And that should KO. So we'll get back health here. Awesome. Should have probably just gone to plus three because now I'm not going to get as much health back here. But it's fine because I'm plus four, plus four. So I should be okay. Here comes the T-Bolt. And now I can't get on cord, which is really cool. So yeah, we just go for Drain Punch again. And that is a easy KO. And the Belly Bolt is going to be dead very soon. Woo! And it's dead now. Beautiful. So we heal. Back up to 222 HP. We have the plus one Spadef. We have the plus four, plus four in attack and, and defense. And we can sweep with Scrafty here. We can just straight sweep. Here's Antony. This is the Moth. And at this point, we Terra. And we go for the Crunch. Unless Drain Punch KOs, but I very much doubt that. And uh, the Grimstarl is still being kept for the Spectre, obviously. So here's the Terra. We are a plus one in Spadef as well. Keep that in mind. So it's very hard for our opponent to KO us here. And Crunch easily KOs the Iron Moth in return. Here's Meteor Beam. That's a crazy play, <laughs> but it might work out. Special Attack Rose. And that is Power Herb. I don't think I die. I'm pretty sure I don't. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> all right, cool. So here's Crunch. That is a dead moth. Thank you to the Moronga Berry. Here's Rashford. Big Rashford. But this is a physical attacker and I'm plus four in defense. So I'm just going to Drain Punch. And that should be the end of the game with a big old Scrafty Sweep once again. Four more kills on the season. Let's pray for no crit here. We did get quite lucky with no crits up until now. And looks like that's going to continue. And now I can't even get on cord into uh, a move other than Drain Punch. So this is GG to Oboe. I'm pretty sure this game is over. Would require a like banded crunch crit at this point. And even if it's even if that's what it is, then I just go into Cinderace and U-turn a bunch until Pyro Ball kills. Diogo Dot. Hello. <laughs> Are we Portuguese, Oboe? <laughs> um yeah, we just uh, we just hit Drain Punch. No reason to uh, to think it over here. I like I like how the footballers came out at the end. <laughs> we had Rashford and and the lot. Are they all football? I actually didn't check the names. They might all be uh, European soccer players. Nice. I'm a, I'm a Man City fan, by the way, and it's not bandwagoning. I've been a Man City fan for eight years. <laughs> so yeah, ever since uh, big old Mini Minter hit Kevin De Bruyne in the face with a with a ball off the post. Here's the crunch. We do not see a crit. Here's the drain punch. And that is a dead Grimmsnarl, which means it was offensive. And that is GG's to my opponent. Down goes the Grimmsnarl. Scrafty gets its 18th kill of the season. And your Montreal Habsols end up in fifth place because that was a 3-0 or better. Uh, I believe we had three Mons alive, right? We had Cinderace, we had Scrafty, and we had Spectre. Was that everything? I think it was. Yeah, so that's a 3-0, which means we just leapfrog over Oboe, take the number fifth spot in playoffs, 
and I will see you guys for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said in the beginning of the video, make sure to go and check out all the coaches in the description down below, including my opponent. Go and check out his side. He uh, he prepped very well there. Those those were some really interesting sets that I actually hadn't seen in mocks, so that was really nice. And uh, yeah, go and go and give him some love, and make sure to subscribe to us before you leave. I'm trying to hit two two thousand subs before the end of the year. Uh, I'd also appreciate a like on the video and uh, let me know what you thought about Scrafty this season. It got 18 kills and ended up as kill leader in the BBR. I did tell you guys I was going to find the diamond in the rough, the gem amongst all of the low tier Terramons. And I think I did that. So thank you guys. And I will catch you guys for quarterfinals. Let's go. Peace.